Power Rangers Mystic Force Episode 27, The Snow Prince, was a mix of episodes, but they were good episodes. The first episode has, the first half has to do with Dagron getting out of ideas, what to teach Nick. He then talks about his teacher, The Snow Prince, seemingly out of left field and BSed, since they actually never got to this part before in the plot. The Snow Prince then discusses Nick being a better teacher than Dagron is. Dagron is offended, giving him something to do. Although it's weird because I have no idea what his character is, so I don't see why this is appropriate. The plot is really back and forth, considering how underdeveloped Dagron is. Yep. Be lazy. Work. Don't work hard. Learn from Nick. Be a main character. That's why you should be like Nick. But it is understandable considering how campy and nonsensical the Mad Ranger episode was so you have to give him leeway with that and as much as I like Mad Ranger it just made no sense of that plot also very forced also the lesson has nothing to do with the show it isn't brought up again just like in Mad Ranger there some meat between the division between Nick and Dagger which I'll get to but it's pretty cool level superficial Nick's actor does a good job of trying to look foolhardy yet wise in a badly written Mystic Force script Dagron convincingly looks like he doesn't understand his teacher before learning. The execution makes up for it, demonstrating that the Snow Prince is wise and Dagron learns something. Nick also does great laughing at Dagron for having to learn from him. Nick, well, Dagron learned from Nick. Also, how Dagron learns this lesson is actually better than the lesson itself. Please, kids, don't learn from home. Nick's a shitty teacher. Learn from his gut. Probably would have worked, ironically, since Nick is so frustrating to deal with, something the fans can even recognize. Also, it made sense that Nick would stop attacking, just keep attacking the problem, but well, the delivery could have been better. The Snow Prince fighting was great. The original footage made it look, look less campy than the Mad Ranger footage. Him being powerful enough to hold off Megahorn made the lesson make sense, not risking him killing off the crew, unlike John Toy's Doggy Kruger counterpart. Ironically, John Toy played the opposite character with his SBD character a season difference. I get to this part later, analyzing what went right and wrong. Phineas is important to the role of Daggeron in this episode too, which I like as I like Hell Henderson's character, which is noteworthy as well.